are still at understanding LCM and HCF, but in a more textbookish manner. Let's continue with the example 24 and 36. So we have the numbers 24 and 36 and we are interested in the common factors. So factors are numbers that will divide them, right? So I'm writing it in the denominator. Uh, the common factors. The textbookish way is we need numbers that divide. So it's a good idea to factorize 24 and 36. While these numbers are very easy because I've, it's the first example. But they are a little opaque. So it's a good idea to factorize. So I have 24 as 8 3 is a 2 cube into 3. And by 3 I mean 3 raised to 1. The factorized form. 36 is 2 it divides, 4 also divides it, 4 9s are. So 4 and 9 are made up of different primes, so that's it. 2 square and 3 square. I need, mind you, common factors. Factors are that divide them. Divide means they should completely. So let's take these powers of 2. What numbers will divide them completely? 2 raised to 0 is 1. 1 divides every number 2 raised to 1 can also divide both 2 square also and also 2 cube 2 raised to 2 2 raised to 2 can divide 2 raised to 2 yes can it divide 2 raised to 3 yes can I say 2 raised to 3 2 raised to 3 will divide 2 raised to 3 but can 2 raised to 3 divide 2 square not really so it will no longer be common it will be a factor of the first one but not of the second that is 8 8 is a factor of 24 but not of 36 right so you cannot go higher than this similarly looking at what will divide the threes the primes 3 okay so could i have a 3 raised to 0 yes 3 raised to 0 1 divides everything could i have a 3 raised to 1 it will divide 3 raised to 1. It will also divide 3 square. Could I have a 3 raised to 2? While it will divide 3 square, it is not going to divide 1 3 raised to 1. Right? Hence, I cannot use the 2 or any higher power of 3. So, these are my common factors. Take any combination of these. And you are going to get all these common factors. The reason why I left the board um, unerased is... Could I have a combination 2 raised to 0, 3 raised to 0? That would give me 1. Could I have 2 raised to 1, 3 raised to 0? That is going to give me the number 2. Could I have 2 square, 3 raised to 0? That will give me 4. You have done this in factors, number of factors, right? So it's same. Take a 3 raised to 1, 2 raised to 1. That will give me a 6, 3 raised to 1, 2 square. And amongst these, I require the HCF. So... I require the highest common factor. So if I want the highest common factor, obviously I'm going to take the largest powers. 2, two raised to 2 will make it the largest. 3 raised to 1 will make it the largest here. Pretty easy. Now if I look at it from here, look here, which one am I choosing? 2 raised to 3 or 2 square? I am choosing 2 raised to 2. Watch out, this, this is a pretty interesting one till the end. While you might say Ki, all this is easy, even the ones who are good students, watch out, I'm going to come at certain no, property here. Between 3 raised to 1 and 3 raised to 2, which one did I choose? I chose 3 raised to 1, the lesser of the two. But then I needed the highest. Remember, highest is not my first priority. My first priority needs to be a common factor. And for it to be a factor, it needs to divide both. So whatever is the least of the uh, powers of 2, I need to take that first. And among the least, where am I doing the highest? I have taken 2 raised to 2 and not 2 raised to 1, not 2 raised to 0. That is where I am using the highest. Hope that, that that's not very clear. Just you know, do, do your own work. What was that interesting thing that I am trying to tell? Let's come to LCM and then mix up the 2 and find that. One last point before we go to the HCF, uh, LCM. Remember, a lot of questions are going to be based upon common factors. And if you look at all these common factors, all of them are factors of HCF. Right? So, I am going to use this when, we, when, when the question is not talking of the highest one. Like one application I showed. Show, show me the smallest uh, three-digit number. So, it is a common factor. 
and how do I find the common factor? It is a factor of the HCF, right? Now let's move to LCM. So we had the number 24, we had the number 36, 24 was factorized as 8 into 3, that is 3 raised to 1, 36 is 4 into 9. And this time I am interested in multiples. So multiples are going to be multiple of them. These numbers will divide. So they will be in the numerator and I want common multiples. Common multiples. So multiples. Okay. So let's see. Can I take 2 raised to 0? 2 raised to 0 is not a multiple of them. Right. I need a multiple. So let me start with 2 square. 2 square is there and this is a multiple. But 2 square is not a multiple of 2 cube. Right? 2 cube should completely divide it. Only then this will be called a multiple. So I cannot use a 2. So I will have to use a 3. And can I use a 4? 2 raised to 4 is it divisible by each of these? Yes. So in fact I can use any higher power and there is no limit to it. Right? Similarly what can I do with a 3? Uh, for 3 could I use a 3 raised to 1? 3 raised to 1 is a power of uh, 3 raised to 1. Uh, is a multiple but it's not a multiple of 3 square right so I cannot use a 1. 3 square is a multiple of both of them I can use and 3 and so on all higher powers are acceptable right again if you look at it if I want the least common multiple among these multiples I choose the lowest powers right so which is going to become 2 cube into 3 square right the lowest one which gives me 8 9s are 72 but could I take other multiples could I take a 2 raised to 4 2 raised to 4 is 16 16 into 9 144 that is the next higher multiple could I have stuck with 8 but taken 3 raised to 3 27 27 into 8 160 and 56 216 and I could have higher powers as many as I want right so that is when I want all these common multiples, all these common multiples are multiples of LCM. Right? Uh, this number, when I multiply it with a 2, I'll get the 2 raised to 4. This number, when I multiply it with another 3, I'll be getting 3 cube. Right? So I take the LCM and I take multiples of that and I'll keep getting common multiples further. Great. Last point. Let's see which ones have we chosen. We have chosen 2 cube. 2 cube we have chosen. And 3 square. 3 square we have chosen. I will not waste time here deciding, oh, this is least, least. So why am I choosing the higher one? I am choosing higher one because first priority is multiple and so on. But now let's compare this and here. So I have chosen 3 raised to 1. Here I have chosen 3 square. I have chosen 2 square. Here I have chosen 2 cube. So while this is not a proof of it. It is a pretty important one. For 2 numbers. If I take the HCF into LCM. The HCF into LCM. I have a 2 square into 2 cube, 2 square into 2 cube. I have a 3 raised to 1 into 3 square, 3 raised to 1 into 3 square. You could do it here, you could do it here. What I am trying to drive at is, this is going to be the product of the numbers. So this, now we are getting into deeper stuff, right? So the understanding part is over and using that understanding part, we are learning a property. HCF into LCM is the product of the numbers, but remember this is valid only for two numbers. Conditions apply. This is only for two numbers. Don't use it anywhere else in that case, right?